Oh my god, she thinks she's the best tarot reader in the world or something. Well, her tarot is kind of amazing. Oh my god, you watch her tarot channel? Of course, after I saw you watching it. Oh my goody goody, oh my god! Oh yeah? <laughs> Talk nonsense and I'll block you. Oh my goody goody, oh my god, why do they try to get blocked so bad? Oh my goody goody, oh my god, be hey. Oh my goody goody, oh my god, I'm just trying to do love tarot. Call me stupid with a bow and arrow, be hey. Capricorn, we're starting with you. Um, we want to say how your person is feeling about you. What are they feeling about you right now as we tap into them? Hello to my existing schnookums. My schnookums are my subscribers whom I read for. And I want to say, of course, a special shout out to my VIP. I can't believe we have a party coming up. VIP folks, channel members, I cannot, you guys wear me out. This is the last time that all of this stuff is going to be available at this level. So thank you so much for joining because you came at the perfect time. Like you're gonna be the recipient and beneficiary of all my crazy creative ideas. <laughs> um, so that's good. Love you. All right, let's, uh, where's the other deck? You can join VIP by the way. I'm gonna leave a link in the comment section if you want, if you're new, just make sure you know you understand that VIP here is well behaved. It's an elite group of super subscribers who just want a little bit more out of the channel, such as emoji, special emoji and badges and replies in the comment section and all of those good things. It's just that we're adding on a lot to the current subs subscription tier. We're adding live streams, which I never do anymore on the regular channel, adding parties, um, we are adding so much. Let's see how your person is feeling. That is nice. Matches right. Oh, not you matching with my blue. Look at that. How's that for a magical beginning? The star card. Someone's healing, chilling, enjoying these stars, fireworks. In the 4th of July, on the 4th of July, that applies. Going out, social, three of cups, celebration. They're having a good time. That feels good. Um, or at the very least, they're healing and coming through. Um, just a place of acceptance, you know. Um, if there were other people, places or things involved in this connection, they're healing from that. Um, just coming again, coming to an acceptance. This is amazing. Four of wands energy. Wow. This is all very positive. I must say somebody could have had a wedding sometime soon or discussed one. Um, cause four of wands is a marriage card. Now I didn't know what they needed to heal from. So I don't know what this tower moment means for you. Somebody could have been really stubborn about something, refusing to admit their feelings, and those feelings are showing up here. Lover's card. Oh, yeah. So somebody certainly wants to be in your company. If they've not seen you, they're not sure how to do that. The moon card is blocking something. But the empress has come out to meet the emperor. These two are divine counterparts, amazing energies. Uh, really, it would take every king in the empire well there's no such thing as a king in an empire <laughs> it would take every king in his kingdom to equal one emperor in in the empire 
It would take all the queens to equal the empress. These are such divine counterparts, regardless of gender or sexuality. They belong together. And this person has high regard for you because these are very high regard cards. On top of that, they could be parental. Uh, they could bring parental energy. Somebody here, uh, for some of you, there's pregnancy. This is a stork carrying a baby. And she is an omen for fertility. So, listen, this is all good news, but for some of you, there might be a truth being revealed very soon. This is a great clarifier. The swords revealing what's behind that moon, yeah? The swords, this, especially this ace of swords, is a truth bringer. It reveals what's in the dark. What's in the dark comes to light. And if somebody has had a thing thing with this Miss Thang, Queen of Wands, somebody here could have maybe caused a tower moment because uh, there's a stork carrying a baby. Somebody is pregnant. If it's not any of that, because maybe you don't want kids, you're past the stage of kids, whatever the case may be, then somebody is thinking of you as very beautiful, as soulmate energy, and as somebody whom they would copulate with. Um, very deep. Oh, this person likes or loves you. Knight of Cups energy just coming out to play there. That Knight of Cups, Knight always approaching. And Knight saying, listen, I offer you this feeling, this warm feeling. The only card here that is sudden and cantankerous is the Tower card. And that's why I said there's going to be some split. There's going to be some splitting. There's going to be a split narrative where for some of you, despite somebody's love and admiration for you, there's a secret being hidden behind that moon and a truth that needs to come out despite how strongly they feel for you. Do you understand what I mean? So it's like great cards all around, but the tower is not for nothing. Yeah. The tower is somebody realizing that something must come to the light perhaps a bit too shy to ruin what good grace they have from you. That hermit card. And yeah, they're trying to strategize with the two of wands how to go about telling you whatever it is they need to tell you. So very interesting energy there. Um, oh man, these are the most beautiful cards. Wow. The only thing, like I said, with this Eight of Cups again showing up, I just feel like if somebody has turned their back away or if you haven't <laughs> turned their back on you or if you, ha or if you haven't spoken, they're recognizing that as a disaster. They're trying to heal from that, but they want to see you again. And I think they will make plans to approach, particularly if they can find a strategy or a pathway to do that. But the sun must clarify the moon for a lot of you. So whatever is behind their walking away or hiding something from you, it has to come to light. And with the king of wands now coming out to meet the queen who had appeared earlier, something could have happened with your person and you or and somebody else. Um, that needs to be clarified. The truth needs to come out there. But their intentions are showing. Six of Wands, they want to win. That's winning energy and they are sorry. So it's very, it, it'll be interesting to have a look. Let me see what's going on on your side. Oh, not my cards flipping out for no reason. What time is it, by the way? Oh, okay. That's fine. Yeah, you know, I think you two have come.
through, uh, you know, many crossroads that have had you strategizing. Capricorn is feeling like, man, boy, has my admiration for this person caused me to try to strategize a million times, try to think through something because I care so deeply. Both of you showing me your lover's cards. I feel like when you met this person, something felt electric and could have like, you know, turned sour with the five of cups. Something felt really good. Like this person was the one and they understood you. This is your card. It doesn't mean you're an actual devil. Yeah. You're not an actual devil. You're not related to anything demonic. <laughs> this is because the cards were made a very, very, very long time ago in the olden days. And, you know, this was just something that was used to describe human vices, you know. Um, so I think that, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm concerned the King of Wands is coming out again. And then there's a three coming out, somebody with heartbreak. But for some reason, you two make each other happy. Look how the moon is coming out on your side too. So I know for sure that there's something that needs to be, be revealed. It could cause a major shakeup. But when it's revealed, it's revealed. You know, you guys are pulling the same cards. So I think you, you both are ready for whatever it, it is to be revealed. The strength card coming out on your side, just as it did with this uh, deck. This deck depicts the strength card more as a tiger than as a lion, as you can see here. Um, but the question that is coming forth is whether you both will be strong enough to withstand a truth. Is that going to rock the bedrock of your connection when you find out whatever it is? Or are you both still going to be amicable? Now, with this, I sense some confusion heading your way, Seven of Cups energy, but you still want to... See, the thing with you and this person is that healing is very much forefront. Even if you have to do it on your own with that Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, look at my Red Cross card popping out here. The Judgment. Yeah, you still... Mm, deception indicated. I think some of you need to heal from a betrayal. I mean, that's best case scenario. You need to heal from being given the runaround. Yeah. You need to heal from the wishy-washiness. You need to heal from the silence. You need to heal from feeling left out. You need to heal from not feeling good enough or somebody staying silent. You need to heal from the eight of cups, somebody walking away. You need to heal from that. Whatever maybe was toxic, you need to heal from what caused you this anxiety and nervousness and heartbreak. You're still healing. Even though, yes, Red Cross card, I don't think you would be opposed to reuniting with this person, but ego might play a role on both sides. Um... History might play a role. Hesitation might play a role. I think you're you're in your Capricorn, you're in your keep out era right now. You have the seven of cups. Lots of confusion, mixed signals, options. You have your seven of swords. Lack of trust or, you know, maybe even just opportunity opportunism. Ugh, opportunism. You have your seven of wands, very defensive energy right now. And the five of swords, yeah. There's a lot more healing showing on your part than on your person's part. I think in this reading, you're still in a mode where you're defensive about something, you lack trust about something, you're guarded about something, you feel alone about something, you get, you're getting mixed signals about something. Um, you're trying to plan, make a way through something, strategize something. You're feeling left out about something. You're feeling given the runaround about something, back and forth energy about something, silence about something. You know, there's a lot here for you to heal. 
whether or not you admit it, you see. Um, I think you're you're having this facade. That's why the Seven of Swords came out. You're, you're still presenting a facade of strength. You're still presenting as if you're okay. And the cards are saying, this ego thing, represented by this, is not necessary. This ego thing, you know, that's keeping you from accepting that you don't like people walking away from you, especially when you need them, not necessary. Um, the truth, the cards are saying, is that underneath your mask, you love, miss, someone, want to be happy. And I think that person realizes and recognizes it. And they're taking a softer approach right now. They don't want to harm you, but they recognize their things that they probably need to tell you. There's some truths that they probably need to reveal so that everybody could be healed. Reveal so you can heal. Reveal so you can heal. Reveal so you can heal. Um, Aquarius, is your turn. Welcome, welcome, my darlings. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to do, how's your person feeling right now? How's your person feeling currently? What's up? How's your person feeling currently? This is your deck. And this is your person's deck. I want to say hello to my existing shinkums, my subscribers. And of course, a special shout out to my VIP. My VIP and my channel members, they're an elite group of super subscribers. You can become one by clicking the link I'm going to leave in the comment section or just click join anywhere you see on the homepage. Uh, you get all those benefits, but right now is a crazy time for VIP because you're getting way more benefits than is normal. <laughs> There's no other channel that offers this much on a very, very basic level of VIP, but I want to do it this way because you know, you guys know me, I'm crazy with all my creative ideas and I want to, I want to reward all the people who joined early. So that's why I'm making it available to you guys. We have a party on Saturday. Oh my God, it's already Tuesday. Oh, I hope you're ready. Don't forget. Knight of Wands, is that how they're feeling? They're feeling hot, hot, hot. No, I'm not Caribbean. I've never been to the Caribbean. <laughs> you know, like, um, This is a bit playful but I just don't think this person feels as connected right now for whatever reason they've been slightly in and out somebody here is feeling left out can't really see like the future at this moment you know they don't really feel the stability of the connection at this very moment and they're making it known For some of these persons, they've had either a maternal, sisterly, or authority figure tell them, listen, you know, you need to make up your mind about Aquarius. You need to make up your mind about your love life. You need to be, you mean, like you need to buckle up. It's been a very sharp talking to. Yeah. The Knight of Wands is not a king. The Knight is a knight not a king so there's still some joviality still some immaturity in your person i don't care if they're 75 years old um they've had some sort of talking to about being wise yeah mm -hmm. i thought i was going to see the king of wands but the queen of wands coming right under under the knight of wands there's a maturity issue here showing up um and that's fine. You know, people can be, you know, a million years old and still have maturity issues. 
I think your person is internally conflicted about you. They have an abandonment complex. Somebody here has an abandonment complex rooted in how they were parented. Um, and for a while, I think they were dealing with more than one person. Yeah, with these queens present, it gives that sense of fear of commitment. Um, you know, you don't necessarily have to have been cheating. You know, they could have just been dating. But the point is, a closure issue showing up here, or multiple cycles of going round and round. You know, either about the same topic or about the same relationship, not advancing it through time. This person is kind of leaving things up to the universe, you know, and saying, you know, they'll take action one day and then the next day you kind of don't see the fruits of that labor. I think in some cases they want to work on it. Because this is oh, a restart button, the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, they want to. I feel this person does want to do right by you. They do. But right after they grow up. <laughs> The king has come out to meet his queen. Uh, king and queen of swords, really good counterparts, really good couple. Much more intellectually sound. Um, they require thinking, logic, speech, discourse, conversation, all the things that the swords rule. The swords rule all things of the mind, and mouth, pause, <laughs> pause. Um, and I think this person wants to get there, but I sense some maturity issues. I do, I do. I sense some pacing issues as well. I sense some, in some cases, roaming eye issues, <laughs> blocked issues. Like, come on, grow up. We don't have time. Aquarius is probably saying, I see, I see that they, you know, they like you. I just think that sometimes in their past or in their present, they've been like, oh, maybe I can like somebody else too. <laughs> you know, this is just for some of you, not all of you. They just, they, you know, they seem to have been tied in some ways. Look at the King of Wands coming out to meet the Queen of Wands right there. So there's a lot of talking that needs to be done. They do seem to have genuine feelings for you. But like I said, somebody here may have commitment issues. When they think about commitment, this is the Hierophant card, which represents marriage. Sometimes it makes them feel scared, sad, and it triggers something here that has to do with an abandonment wound. hate when that happens let me go get your cards i really oh, really in this tight space too let me see if i can pick them up like why is it happening right now though oh, hang on oh. God, i really hate when that happens man Let's see, probably calling my attention to Hermit, Seven of Wands. Yeah, you've been doing too much. You've been doing too much. Chill, chill. Yeah, you're talking too much and doing too much and trying to convince too much and trying to teach too much and trying to mother too much or father too much. You're doing the absolute most. You're doing too much. Maybe even watching tarot too much. I don't care. You're doing too much. I think you're just excited to flourish. You want to do well in many aspects of life. And when you see somebody that you like, you latch on. Um... This is very interesting. Some of you have some, you, you might have a job that takes you away from your love drama. 
and forces it to end. So I'd be, <laughs> whoa, whoa, your ambitions might actually, whomever this is that we're reading about, you might not be reading about them in six months. You might be reading about something completely different. Because for some of you, you have a job opportunity coming, you know, that probably offers a bit more money to your life and might force you to end connections that just don't work for you because you have to go. Some of you might move closer to family. Let's see what's going on. There's something fast coming in your direction. Some of you are already parents uh, with that Empress card, but some of you are thinking really uh, seriously about being a caretaker of some sort. But money is, I told you, right? And you saw me shuffle and pentacles are still coming out. They're still coming out in abundance. The, the funny thing is, I'm looking at these cards and I'm like, bling, 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 bling. I think you're going to have your mind on your money and your money on your mind. And you're not going to let love take this away from you. This is cha-ching, Aquarius. Sorry. <coughs> Sorry. Aquarius is like, but um, can you tell me if my person is going to... Yeah, money, money, money. End of. Yeah, you don't see it coming yet, but it looks like in the ether, something is already in the works for your money game. Something is in the works for your career. Something is in the works that is going to revamp and change the way uh, you live. And in fact, someone else may appear. Ooh, this is scandal. That's why I keep thinking... I don't know if you're going to keep reading about this person. Even the lover's card is about choice making. It's about making a choice. Somebody is approaching you, my darling, at a much faster and more serious pace than the person that we picked up today. And I think the cards are saying that person might make you happier and be a lot more mature. Oh, not a read. Because a cycle may close with somebody. And it is through work or money or something. There's something here that stabilizes you and forces you to reevaluate. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. You're with somebody, all right. The queen has come to meet the king. Oh, this is an emotional love affair. King and queen of cups. This is an emotional love affair. Ooh, might be love at first sight. I don't know how long you've been with your person. That's showing the hair upon over there, this marriage card. So some of you could literally be married or like married to this person, depending on how long you've been with them. But there's something in the ether talking about your stability and how the love that you want, the love that you seek, um, might be on its way. And it might come through you working on something. Don't be closed off to it. You might be closed off to love in a certain way because of your past experiences. Oh, shoot. I really, oh my gosh. Aquarius, you're about to be in love, 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 love. Yes. I love reading when signs are about to enter an era of love. I want to be right there with this Ace of Swords brand new beginning. Hitting you with the truth. A cycle completing. Yeah, they're making sure I say that. They're making sure I say that you're leaving something. And probably starting something anew. That a tower moment is ahead. They want me to warn you about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing all that. And somebody who's been in, out of, in and out of your life. And this person who has the abandonment complex. Told you four of cups. Uh, anybody who has been hurting you is probably done. It's probably going to be washed away by whatever is coming. Uh, your relationship status is showing up here as possibly single. And... Woo! This is deep. This is you. That's even deeper. The star card in tarot representing you and justice. Karma is about to hit in a way that I, I didn't even see coming. It's whomever this is that makes you feel left out or has an abandonment wound. That person is probably cycles and cycles and cycles of repetition 
repetition with that person. Um, yeah, that may come to a close. The in and outness that may come to a close. Somebody wanting to do right by you and not doing so, yeah, that may come to a close because the universe, the karmic energy, karma is coming with this justice card. Um, like I told you, there's commitment in your future. It's showing up here the, with the Hierophant. You also have um, this commitment. I think this is brand new for you, though. I don't know if this is an existing thing. But it's followed by Ace Energy. Because you might have enough of something and just walk away, Eight of Cups. And this healing that you might do might keep you guarded from things that have given you anxiety in the past. Yeah, the moon's a bit anxiety ridden. So this is a sudden happening with the tower. I think it might shake things up. But what, one thing I love about it is that it's surrounded by abundance. And it's surrounded by opportunity. And it's not something you, you, you would have to think about. It's just something that would fall on your lap and would go, go excellently well. So I like that for you. Um, because if somebody is out here gambling, having a Vegas old time, you know, still being immature, saying that they want to offer you something and then not really, um, then... I think the clock will become louder in your ear. There's a ticking, 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 ticking clock between the two of you. There's a timing issue here. And if you don't act, guess who will? You know it's the universe. All right. Let's do Pisces. Pisces, welcome to your reading. I want to say hello to my existing schnookums. My subscribers are my schnookums. How are you guys doing? Of course, a special shout out to my VIP, my channel members. You can join channel memberships just by clicking join anywhere you see on this page or on my home page um, channel memberships give you like extra perks plus we have a party coming up on Saturday so don't forget yeah if you want if you want to be texted a reminder just go into the VIP area and send a message to uh, the whatsapp number the whatsapp business number and uh, we will notify you like an hour before the party so that you don't miss it. Yeah? Okay. Now. Let's get started. What's your person currently feeling, Pisces? How are they feeling about you? Well, they think you're fun. They think you're out there having a good time. Celebrating. They don't want to come on too strong right now. They could be sorry about something. They're taking things, you know, really gently, you know, for whatever reason they have in their head. Lots of water today. I like to see that for you, being that you're a water sign. Um, wow, that's a display of emotion. This person is definitely taking things softly with you not going overboard, not doing too much, just enjoying the fact that they know you, just enjoying the fact that they have met you, feeling warmer. Ooh, somebody's missing you. What's going on? Somebody feels like something has been taken from them just by virtue of not having, having seen you. Do you know what I mean? They want... A fresh start, Pisces. That's a fresh start. Boop! The Ace of Pentacles, that restart button. They don't want whatever is in the past that caused harm or caused anybody to feel any kind of way. This person is walking away from that and saying, no, 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 uh, that's not the path. That's not how we should do this. Uh, let's, 
let's take a different approach this person feels good about you and what you bring to the table yeah all these aces coming out ace of swords ace of pentacles all these new beginnings um more cups long-term energy so i think this person has a very favorable view of you and wants to talk oh they want to talk oh my gosh i think there's a conversation coming that you might not see it's back and forth energy with that eight of wands just psh, 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 fire um whether you'll see eye to eye i don't know because you know words could have already been exchanged here that were a bit harsh or abundant or just you know piercing in some way too blunt yet this person feels the great clarify fire must happen um they don't feel like they have treated you all that well to be fair they just don't yeah devil card i think they need to say something they feel hurt and you know they feel they've hurt you they feel they've hurt themselves um again i tell you guys speech words are like swords that's what they are in tarot so depending on what's said emotions can run high or what's not said yeah sometimes it's what's not said as could be the case with this five of pentacles kind of deducting and detracting from the energy of this spread this is a lot of lack so sometimes it's even what's not said but for a lot of you it is what has been said and this person is having a look at how to restart and you know come into a new beginning um and whatever timing issue is showing up there in the temperance card um is significant i think you're having a hard time even fundamentally understanding this person if i'm honest with you because this person doesn't act according to how you would think human beings act. <laughs> Pisces, I think you do something and then expect this person's reaction to be one way and it's the total opposite. And you're like, wait, what kind of human being is this? So it's so difficult for you to even just fundamentally understand this person's character. And I think you've been very patient and I think this person recognizes that because they have the temperance on their side as well. But I, I think, yeah, you've missed the mark a couple of times because you just don't quite understand them. You don't. You don't. You don't understand their swag. You don't understand their issue. Um, I think when you two are on the same page in words and swords it makes perfect sense but when when their pattern changes or when they say something out of line you go back to this this four of cups energy yeah uh-huh you start to not trust anymore you feel betrayed seven of swords this is not a very easy char character to understand this person that you're dealing with no i don't sense that they're very easy and you know this is showing you a single solo by yourself yeah even you could be literally married to this person for a hundred years you're still showing up as solo in the center of this particular reading because that's how alone you feel sometimes look at this dejected energy i think you two are reflecting that because something here could make sense but then something falls short with this five of pentacles yeah um ooh, not some of you wanting something more you want something more you want something more than what you're getting when are you going to admit that to yourself are you going to admit that to yourself you want to hold on some of you because of the history look at this six of cups you give so much in connections you want to keep giving and giving and giving you want to make something work 
even though you're getting little in return. What's that type of behavior? Self-destruction. The universe might urge you to look for somebody who invests in you as much as you invest in them. Somebody whom you understand. Somebody who's grounded on earth. Grounded. Pentacles, earth energy. Whom you can understand and not have to um, support. Ooh, that's winning energy. Great. Great final cards, but how you get there is going to be, whoo, it's a challenge ahead. Well, it could, you could speed up the challenge, yeah? Because I could see the challenges. I could see the death card, the three of swords, the eight of swords, king of wands, two of pentacles. This is decision making. This is you being sad and depressed. You're not getting enough of something here. This is too small, the page of cups. And this is a miser card. So there's something here that you are contributing to a lot more than you should for a connection. I think your expectations are way high and way up here. Yeah, with all these lovely pentacles. And I think you are more self-sustaining than you realize. Maybe you do realize and don't want to admit it. But it's all coming from you. This energy is coming from you. You don't probably, you probably don't actually need a person if I'm very blunt. Um, especially if that person is going to take from your sense of sanity and peace, your sense of belonging. But I think now with some of you, you've said, you know what, you're, you're already comfortable here. Six of Cups, there's already this nostalgic sort of history built. Even if you've known this person for two weeks, it seems like you're already slightly invested, a lot invested. And the thing is, you tend to be the giver in your connections. Um... And you don't like to lose in love. I think you want somebody to come up behind you and breathe on your neck, like Erica Badu said. You want somebody to offer you this cup of love that you so crave. You don't like to lose in love. You don't like it to look bad to your friends. You don't like to appear single. You like to appear coupled. You don't like to be left out, four of cups energy. So you wear this mask sometimes. Yes, some of you do. Rather than figure out what exactly is broken five of pentacles and either decide to cut it off or um realize that you can't you can't fix it and everybody you know you just like the way it feels when everybody knows that you are in a connection it's king and queen of swords definite counterparts but look there's a seven of swords right here saying there's a mask being worn and there's a feeling of abandonment being left out um so the, the cards are questioning you and they're challenging you to think about the timing. Think about how much time you have left to give here. Because like I said, it's a lot of labor. <laughs> it's a lot of labor and action to deal with this connection. It's a lot. And it's a lot of, you know, energy to understand this person that you're dealing with. They're not so easy to deal with. They talk a lot or they offer a lot in terms of, um, their presence, like they, you know, when you get them talking, they can really, you know, they've got those words, don't they? But it's like so many words and still saying nothing because <laughs> it's still so hard to deal with, like so hard to comprehend as far as you're concerned anyway. Yeah. Maybe somebody else can deal with them more easily, but you know, um, let's move on to Aries. Welcome, Aries, to your reading. Hello to my existing shtukums, who are my subscribers. I want to also give a special shout out to my VIP. They are my channel members. To become a channel member on YouTube, all you have to do is click the join button. It'll give you VIP status on this channel. It's very, very rare. I mean, very rarely do channels offer so much on such a basic level of YouTube. Now it's not a formal offering, um, but just because this is such an early launch, um, I'm over giving, I'm just throwing stuff in there that I normally would not, um, because I want to thank people for joining so early. 
So thank you guys. Enjoy your emoji and your badges. And keep in mind, we have a party coming up on Saturday. Oh my God. Can't wait. What is that going to be like? What crazy stuff do I have going now? You know? What crazy stuff do I have going now? We shall see at the VIP party. All right. See you guys there. Now let's get started. What's your person currently thinking? How are they currently feeling about you? Uh-oh. Oof. Yikes. All right. Let me see what comes out. Four of Pentacles. Okay. But what are they holding on to? Are they holding on to a grudge or are they holding on to you? Okay, they could be holding on to you with that Knight of Cups, but let's see. I feel like they're not yet willing to admit something. In some cases, it's their feelings. They're not yet willing to show the depth of their feelings. They're keeping it in a glass case, like these pentacles are kept in that glass case. And, ooh, not them turning their back and walking away. That's pretense. That's pretense. That Eight of Cups is certainly leaving you hanging in a way, making you wait at the very minimum. They're about to do something, possibly in their own life. Um, oh, they've got, oh, wow, this is a hard time all of a sudden. Why are they having a hard time? Why is your person having a, what's up? What's up with that Ten of Swords? Is it so difficult for somebody to admit see i knew this deception was going to show up seven of swords deception indicated oh lord this person is playing playing games with you my darling they may be playing games with themselves and not realizing that they're lying to themselves i think they want to offer a token of apology and do right by you but something here is not stable this is not a stable connection right now um, this person, yeah, I was afraid I was going to see that seven of wands again. Very defensive. You know, sometimes they use silence as a weapon, but they're missing you, which is what the funny thing is. Um, especially given this, this mask energy, this seven of swords energy that just masks sometimes the truth or can be very opportunistic. Um, it's like they're hiding something and it's hurting them more than they then is necessary. They're hiding feelings. That's hurting them more than it's than is necessary. You don't need to. Why are you hiding so many feelings? What is it that you need to walk away from? Why are you absconding? The fact of the matter is the center of this deck has the Ace of Wands energy. It's a fire energy. And it indicates a hot passion, a brand new passion that they have for you, that they want to show you. Um, and yet there's all this walking away or keeping you waiting. Um, they get, you see, they're doing this to themselves. The cards are saying this is, they're, they're hurting their own selves by not being a lot more chill. Yeah. They need to be chill -er in this connection. Um, the more they combat you, the more they resist their own feelings. Cause this is a lot of resistance here. And I don't even know why, like, what are you holding on to? I think the harder it is for them. I think they want a fresh start, something fresh and new, and uh, possibly even more exciting with you. Um, but they need to learn how to speak better. I would say that this person needs to be, I just said that, and this is really all about that silence, isn't it? It's very intuitive. I think this person is smart and intuitive, but the speech needs to be worked on. They need to say how they feel, you know, and not stay mum or repressed. Let it out. This person is all in their mind. All in their mind. Look at these swords pointing down. There's nothing here that's, you know, oh yeah, let me talk. And the funny thing is, with the hair font now showing at the bottom, strength, yeah. They're, th what's keeping this person from really expressing their deep down inner, inner feelings is a lack of expertise with language. <laughs> oh, I said a lack of expertise with language. 
says the linguist herself. Yes, yes, it is. I mean, they can't communicate the way that they're supposed to. And that's what's causing this, this conflict. Because if they didn't say it like that, or if they said it and didn't keep it in or walk away or cause it on their own selves, like I told you with that nine of wands, this would be, this would go much more smoothly. You're the one, see, king of swords. You've probably already told this person before, hey, you can tell me anything, you know, I will understand. You're the one who holds the intellectual prowess in this connection. King of Swords energy, um, king of intellect, king of logic, king of discourse, speech, conversation. But I do think, you know, that you're getting a lot more high minded and you want to reconcile with this person, despite the fact that there is this glaring eight of cups energy that there is that glaring walking away there is this glaring communication issue is so huge between the two of you like somebody needs to use their words i think you're working on um you know bettering at least yourself you're manifesting something good for yourself like and good for your life and you, you you're hoping that somebody who is um loving will appreciate what you're manifesting some of you are actually willing to let go of people who are too difficult to deal with yeah you've thought about it especially some of you who have been in triangles like oh this is exposing some hurt this is saying oh okay this is where did this storyline come from all of a sudden no ma'am we don't have time to cover this this is for some of you, you, you're finding your happiness after a lot of betrayal. Wowzers. Where the heck did that come from? In and out, mixed, sign mixed signaling, mind effing, you know, and then, you know, you doing all the talking all the time, all the leadership all the time. Well, you are the emperor. What do you expect? <laughs> um... You're taking charge of your life and I love it for you. I think some of you are planning something. You could be planning a trip or just planning to advance yourself in some way because you've had problems with your person anyway and speaking the right, you two speak such different love languages. Yeah, it's, it's so like, wow, what are you talking about? No, what are you talking about? Because the, the love languages can be very, very different between the two of you. So you could be planning to get away somehow, right? The slowdown is not working for you. Um, this, I just was like, I wasn't even going to touch. Some of you are actually still like your person holding on to moments in which moments during which somebody walked away, left you hanging. Um, and you decided, Hey, I'm an Aries. I don't brood. I'm going to abscond, create distance. Um, and whatever happened with a small, or I don't care <laughs> how big or small this segment of you uh, would be, but, um, this is showing that it was a major shakeup, major shakeup because more than one person was involved here, creating this triangle, you know, feeling of the, the threes coming out, three of swords, three of wands, uh, of course, some toxicity that became entirely too hard on both you and your person, 10 of swords energy showing here. So that's for some of you, but I think others of you are, you know, you're remembering who you are, which is very good. Ace of Wands energy. And you're going to take power right back into your hands. The only thing is, I think there's some lingering that will continue to happen between you and this person because you're very physically attracted to each other. There's something here that keeps going uh, despite all the hardships because there's a fundamental physical attraction that isn't dying out as quickly. So it'll just depend on you and this person you know, um, it'll depend on whether or not that physical attraction is, you're able to let go of that because I don't think your person is, your person is always into you physically. And so it's hard for anything to really either end or progress here. You two stay sort of locked in as a result of that fundamental physical passion. Oh, we shall see what happens. All right. Time for my break. Wait, I'm doing it again. Oh gosh, I'm taking a break before Taurus again. But yeah, Taurus, I'll be right 
back, okay? This must be like, yeah, I think it's because it gets to the hour point. Maybe that's why that happens. Anyway, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. What's up, Tor? Hello to my VIP. Special shout out to my VIP. We have a party. We have a VIP party on Saturday. Remember, this is the last time you can join VIP and get all these benefits. This is not what is standard for this current tier. There's only one subscription tier because I'm too lazy to create the rest just now. So this has been the best time to join. I want to thank you guys for joining. You know, enjoy all the benefits. Enjoy the emoji, the badges, the shout outs, the extra perks, the parties that we're going to have. Enjoy all that now because it's not like it's forever. I mean, the sub subscription tiers are going to increase. This is just a big, big thank you for you know supporting that effort because you're you're the bomb I, I love you guys for that honestly all right so let's get started now uh i want to do how your person is currently feeling about you why not we're here to spy and and that's what we're about to do all right five of pentacles coming out Oof. <laughs> what the hell five of pentacles that's how they're currently feeling about you? Oh boy. That's a bit of a dejected feeling, isn't it? It's a bit of a lack of something. This person could be facing, ah, uh, interesting. I mean, this could be someone who helps to provide either for a community, uh, an environment, a group, and may be struggling to do so. They could be, um, having their own unemployment issues or just financial issues, but they lack something when you're not around, apparently. They seem to be deep in thought, manifesting. Thinking about you is for sure showing up here, but uh, let's see. The seven of pentacles at the bottom, sorry. <laughs> One second. With the, all right. Seven of pentacles at the bottom. It seems like this person has an effort that they're trying towards, that they're trying to get, and it's not coming through. So they're a bit distracted from love right now because they're trying to get something or do something, whether it's a new job, like they're waiting. See the three of wands? It's like they're waiting to embark on something. It could be anything from, you know, a law school application to a test, an exam, you know, a licensing, whatever. And that is really occupying a lot of their time. It has a lot to do with something that they're trying to accomplish, yeah, with the Seven of Pentacles. They do think of you fondly and they want to see you. They do want to come around, um, especially if they're not already around. I mean, like, if you're not living with the person or not seeing the person right now, I just think there's a lot of, yeah, mm-hmm, this strategic energy with the two of wands, just a lot of planning that they need to do around something, a lot of getting their stuff together, you know? And then when that's done, I think there's a lot of clarity that they will give you, you know? Uh, once they sort out whatever it is they need to sort out, I think there's a lot of truth energy coming your way with that ace of swords. They want to probably clear the air over something that caused a lack of eye to eye too many fives are coming out you've got the five of pentacles you you have the five of wands now um and i think this person will reveal to you why it is sometimes they have to check out and have to be in their own world look at that magician um they will tell you they'll say it's because of this it's because of that it's because i have to focus on this it's because i have to focus on that um and they will lead the conversation Ooh, that's a first this is a king of conversation. This is a king of swords, the king of intellect, discourse, logic, back and forth communication happening here, a clarity with that ace of swords. That's the great clarifier. It cuts through a lot of the BS and a lot of the conflict, and it makes something clear, that clarity that the swords rule. Um, so I think you might like the outcome. It's just... Okay, yeah, I kind of felt so. I was like, I think you might, you know, I think you might, because they're wishing for you, but they're very well aware that they have to tread carefully. But I see them 
you know, holding feelings for you, sort of missing you in many cases, thinking obsessively about you. This is you showing up in the Hierophant. They're just being strong right now. Um, and, and I was just going to say, I think you'll like the outcome. It's just how long you're willing to wait. This person is taking their time. Look at this page. It's smaller energy. It's called the princess here in this deck, the princess of swords, but this is the page of swords. Um, and it kind of spies a little bit. It's kind of like a spy crap card and this emperor and empress. Yeah. You see this emperor with this empress. They go together. The emperor has come out to meet the empress and this person is saying, you know, um, I'm down. I'm down! But you gotta wait. That's what they're saying. You know, they have something to take care of. It's so, it's so obvious, you know? Tarot is like, obvious where? I can't read tarot cards. <laughs> well, it's obvious to me that they have something to take care of and, uh, you know, they'll get right back when they're done. But that thing comes first. I think you might be slighted. Your ego can be hurt sometimes when people don't clarify, yeah, with that sword. I think you might take something the wrong way. You know, you, you presume that something is happening that might not. You make assumptions probably based on the person's history. I mean, to be fair, right? You're like, okay, well, they're planning something. I'm going to be planning something too. Um, and you get scared. You walk in fear sometimes, Taurus. It's probably best to loosen some of that up. That walking in fear and, you know, really, yeah, finding yourself in this conflict. Because it's funny. I don't think your person's negative intentions are as you think they are. I think that conflict arises sometimes unintentionally with you because you're misreading a situation. This is you right in the center of the reading. Um, you do have a lot of pride, yeah? Your ego sometimes rules connections and how you feel, not your heart. Um, and like you will prematurely walk away or make an assumption, turn something down. You see how these endings are on your side, the death card and the eight of cups. Sometimes you will say, forget this, uh, you know, I've got my own vision to take care of as this person is saying, and you, you compete maybe subconsciously, but it's showing competition on your side with people who are not really trying to compete with you. Look at, look how you're trying to match people's energy. You give them what they give you. I get that. I, heck, I even applaud that. But sometimes in love, things are a little bit more complicated than you would think. I think some of you use silence as a weapon. I think, you know what, if you're dealing with somebody as stubborn as you are, it could take a while to stabilize this energy because you can't, yeah, there are too many queens. Like you can't have, you, 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 you know, interestingly, when I read in this way where I start matching up cards, I, I, I do that to show you similar energies that are harmonious but in this case the feeling i'm getting is more of a competition energy usually i would say oh look the emperor and the empress the empress and the emperor divine counterparts but for some reason in this case it feels a lot more competitive you know where you're manifesting it's almost like a response to the other person manifesting like tit for tat yeah with that magician card I think you have a fear of vulnerability and instead of expressing love and tenderness, sometimes you express something a lot more biting. <laughs> you just, psh, you get a little hard there. You see how these two Kings are competing. What you really want to say, this is you, is you would love for somebody to partner with and be harmonious with just like that King and Queen of Pentacles. And you see that this person or you see that people in general whom you like or love have that potential to grow, but it doesn't come out that way. It comes out as you moving in fear. It comes out as you walking away or getting silent, um, finding yourself mired in conflict sometimes with that five of wands energy. 
and you acting like you're okay, you're fine. Look at this independent card. Solo, single, even if you're in a marriage, you're like, yeah, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. You know, like you know it all, you can do it all. And then your ego sort of comes to play here. When in truth, you want a long lasting connection. Look at these tens, very maximal energies. You start to match the other person's energy in a way that you think is correct, but really could be a misreading. So the cards are probably urging you to, you know, take a leap of faith when it comes to your love life and possibly think about ways in which you can give people the benefit of the doubt. I'm not saying let every idiot in. Absolutely not. But I'm saying, you know, there's a little bit of finessing sometimes with people. And sometimes the cards are saying um, you come across quite gangster, quite gangster to Morris. All right, there. Let me uh, try. Uh, let me hang on, hang on. I need. You know what I need? Not a sip of water. Hang on. All right, Gemini, I'm back. Hey guys, how are you doing? We're gonna do a reading for you on how your person's currently feeling about you. What are their feelings currently? Let's tap into that, shall we? I want to give a special shout out to my VIP. My super schnookums! My sweet schnookums, my VIP. They are channel members who have clicked the join button. So if I were you, I'd click it too. Just click it. Click that join button. Um. Oh, is that the construction? Okay. Let me mind my business. Guys, VIP folks, don't forget we have a um, a VIP party on Saturday. And listen, this is the only time in history when these things are going to be available on this level. You know, this is like the most basic tier of subscription. And you're getting so much. You're going to get parties. You're going to get, you know, so much on this level. So don't forget to get down with that, darling. Okay, now let's get started though. Um, and what's up, Schnookums? Schnookums are my subscribers. I wanna see how your person's feeling. This one wants to say something. Ooh, please don't drag me in drama, Gemini. Oh, okay. <sighs> Why does that wanna say something though? I feel like somebody's saying, let me tell you what this person is saying. They're saying they're not budging, just FYI. I don't know what they're budging on or not budging on. I'm just telling you that FYI, they want me to let you know that they're not budging. I don't know why they're starting out like that. Yeah, because all we came to do was, you know, a reading, mind our business and keep it pushing. But this person is like, tell Gemini, not budging. Okay, great. Message received. Um, oh, dang. You guys saw that, right? You do know this is in real time. <laughs> I'm not pressing pause and then, no, 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 no. This person is really not budging. You know what that means? That's the two of swords. It's like this, depicted in this deck, not budging. What is going on? What happened since the last time? Why is I'm not budging? So if you want them to stop being connected to somebody, for example, uh, like stop talking to somebody, they're not capitulating to your demands. Woo! Okay. If you want them to see you in person, they might capitulate to that. So it seems like they'll budge on some things and not on other. Oof. Jeez Louise. What is going on? Why is this person so aggressive today? Ah! Seven of Swords at the bottom. Gemini, what's happened in the like one day that I've left you? Why is this person being so like stank? Like they're like, look, seven of swords, deception indicated. They're like, something here is too hard to bear, ten, ten of wands. Eight of swords, they're, you know, sort of like doing a lot of internal thinking and rumination. Um, they're feeling badly about something. But again, king of pentacles not budging, even if they're internally conflicted, just still sort of hanging on to their stance and their position. You know, they're not saying they don't have love for you. They're not saying they don't want to win here with that six of wands energy. I mean, I think 
you for speaking about you as a person, this person is saying, cool, you're cool. However, <laughs> dot, 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 I am not budging. So for some of you, this person could have actually turned their back and walked away with the eight of cups energy, just kind of saying, um, I'm going to leave X, Y, Z alone, whatever it is that has been between the two of you. And I think they're, you know, they're feeling pretty content with that. Um, they also feel like something here wasn't fair to them. There's a bit of betrayal and scarring showing, or this person could carry baggage. They think about you all the time. That's the lover's card. Like literally all the time they're thinking, they're constantly thinking about you. But for some reason, it's almost like they want to preempt whatever it is that you're going to say or what, whatever it is they think you're going to say um, and let you know that they will not sway, you know, towards a certain decision. You know, I, I, I don't think you have bad intentions. I don't. I think you want to be silly. You want to have fun. You mean well, you know, when you approach people, particularly people in your life. Um, I think you do a lot of spying, a lot of internet research, a lot of, you know, looking people up. Your intentions are to grow with people when you meet them. You're, so you're, you're see, your intentions are good. Look at you. Coming in peace. Knight of Cups. You know what I mean? Approaching in that manner. But somehow, you see, I'm surprised and disturbed that both of you are pulling the, um, the Seven of Swords this way. I think trust is broken somewhere. Um, I think you may have felt a distance with the Six of Swords energy calling my attention. You could have felt a change in this person's behavior and then tried to control uh, that change in some way, or at least this person felt, yeah? And this person has this personality where they're like, no, I will not be controlled. I will not be changed. I'm going to do what I want. Um, and maybe, you know, there could have been some harshness. That's when your swords come out. Look at them all coming out. Um wowzers all of this just in a matter of so what are you planning oh not you saying i'm fine by myself they don't have to budge gemini i think i've walked into something i said when i pulled out that very first card i said don't walk me into something and i've you've walked me into something well i suppose you two will see each other soon if you've not seen each other already uh, you'll talk about this distance that this person is showing. I think they've changed their behavior a little bit, but not because they don't like you or love you. I just think because both of you have like eerie baggage <laughs> and you need to stop sending information through the mind and the mouth. Um, you need to do it in physical presence, Three of Cups energy. Get into that communal mode. See each other in person here. And that's what the cards are demanding because otherwise um, there's something lost in translation. And you need to consider that if it takes this much to convince your person of just one little thing, it's probably never going to change. You're going to be dealing with that like forever. Do you want that? I don't know. It's up to you. Answer. Cancer, what's up? How are you doing? So we're going to do your reading. Wait, but since when? Why is this shaking so much? Should I take my leg off? Let me take my leg off and see if that'll make a difference. Because I don't understand why the camera is shaking. Anyway, hello, everybody. Hello to my existing schnookums. How are you doing? Uh, I want to say, of course, a very special shout out to my VIP. So we're going to have a VIP party on Saturday. Don't forget, check the membership tab and all of that. If you'd like to be texted, send a message to the WhatsApp business number. All of that is in the VIP area. To join VIP, you have to be very well behaved. 
This is a, an elite group of super subscribers. You can absolutely join by clicking the join button either on this page or my channel homepage. Did you hear that? Did something fall? I have to read with all 78 cards, guys. I can't, like, I'm so paranoid. I don't like, it has to be 78. It has to be complete. So I hope I didn't, I didn't lose a card, right? Gosh, if I rewind this and I see that I'm reading without my 78 card, should we count it? Is that like, is that OCD? No, I have to count it because my readings have to be, hold on. Nope, I'm missing a card. I'm missing it. Something fell, but I, I, I didn't hear it. That's 77. Guys, I'm going to have to put this on pause. I need all of my cards. Let's count it again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, six, Okay, it's 78. Sorry. Woo! Yeah, sorry. OCD tarot person over here. I'm not like the jinx. I'm not going to read for you with 77 cards and 72 cards. No, it's going to be a complete deck because that's the correct way to do it. All right, Knight of Swords. Uh... Is that how they're feeling currently? I think you, okay, you cut, this person is complaining about how you cut them off when they're talking. They don't like that. They don't like it. <laughs> like, I don't know why they feel the need to say this, but yeah, Knight of Swords, Four of Cups, like they don't like when they're expressing something, which is what the swords rule, and they're cut off. It makes them feel um, not heard, not expressed, um, and it just, it creates distance, see? Yeah, six of swords. So you two could be feet. You could might be feeling some distance from this person, whether it's psychologically, emotionally, or physically. Um, and I think they're still recovering from either a heated argument or something that could have happened. But they still have love for you. Look at all these cups: Queen of Cups, Knight of Cups, Ace of Cups. This person is like enamored with you at this point you know cups obviously representing emotions and your water sign um i do think that there was some confusion somewhere with hmm, perhaps the presence of somebody else or something else or, some, or someplace else but i think this person is still holding strong in their commitment to you look at that every time i cut the deck see the two of cups um i do see though how hard it's been with like other people sort of interfering and so I think this person probably needs to work on, you know, how much attention they're paying to you, how much attention they're paying to other people, places and things. Um, you know, they think about you as somebody they met luckily, right? You're a, a good luck charm in this person's life. They have a lot of respect for you. Wow. But just because they have respect for you doesn't mean they don't, they, they enjoy being cut off. <laughs> They don't love it. Um, they can be very stubborn and they're acknowledging that. Yeah, strength card, emperor, very stoic individual, 
sometimes they can be you know very unmoving and they've had a hard time letting you in they're having a hard time letting you in for some reason even though they have all those feelings about you if you give them a chance i think boop, pressing that restart button um i think they might start to thaw out some of that ice yeah some of that fire coming on this ice here with the page of wands the three of wands energy especially if you haven't been speaking i just think there's so many people involved here though like really lots and lots of court cards so you know there could be people in this person's ear or they could be people you know whom this person has dealt with and um that could have interrupted your connection in ways that they didn't yeah ways that they didn't intend look at the threes just all over the place in you guys's reading today you've got the three of cups they have the three of wands you know, look at the three of pentacles over here. Lots of threes, lots of people, lots of court cards, you know, and relationships are meant to be, you know, well, unless they're open relationships, then they're meant to be closed, aren't they? Closed to opinion, closed to other people. Um, and I think you've tried to be strong. Your ego won't let you release something that you know is very hard in this connection. Your ego is going to force you to compete and make yourself relevant in this person's life. Look how the Empress is coming out to meet the Emperor. Look at that despite your knowledge that something in here um is a distraction or an obstruction to your being with this person look at the three of wands again coming out three of cups three of pentacles so you don't want this person's energy and attention to go to anyone else anything else any place else you want it to go towards you and you're not going to be satisfied until you have imposed yourself in a certain way because look at your ego coming out cancer you want to be careful of the ego i told you that this person already thinks about you and they know what to do if you know they want to be with you but some of you are pressing along with that commitment you're feeling like you know don't get obsessive i don't want to see the devil card but you're seeing you're feeling like control yeah you're you're you're, you're losing control and so you, you feel like you need to take actions to make people stay in your life this is not just with romantic people this is with platonic people as well i am very concerned that the, the, these threes keep coming out the three of wands came out again uh, i'm very concerned about that i'm also concerned that um yeah you have trust issues and i don't want you to project them on somebody else um uh, you know, I think you your claws come out. You're not even an air sign. You're a water sign. I don't know why your swords are coming out, but they do come out when you feel threatened. You get really, look at all these swords. I mean, you get really to work and the wands. So sticks and stones may break my bones, Cancer, but your words are surely hurting. Like you get aggressive when tested. Oh my goody goody. I didn't know you had that in you. Oh yes, I did. Oh yes, I did, honey. I know how cancer gets down. I told you I didn't want to see the devil card and here it is. So of course, the devil does not mean anything demonic, right? The devil is an olden expression that was used when these cards were created ages and ages ago to represent things that are human vices. So your vices came out in this reading all because you want the right love and your ego sometimes is involved. But sometimes that ego gets us in trouble, doesn't it? And then you become obsessed with winning or obsessed or looking in the wrong direction instead of, uh, you know, focusing on the sun, focusing on the positives. Like you really, if somebody crosses you, oh my God, you become obsessed with revenge for a little bit you know but you're only doing it out of love i get it <laughs> but you might need to calm down yeah you want somebody who's your intellectual equal and that's showing up here you want somebody who whom you can grow and build with and that's showing up here but i think sometimes you come come across very strongly very strongly mama or papacita you know or papacito um and so that's what's happening here Let's go on to Leo. Hello, Leo. Let's do your reading. Let's see. How's your person currently feeling about you? Let's see what we can surmise. How's your person currently feeling about you? Hello to my VIP. Uh, they are my channel members. You can become a channel member by clicking join anywhere on this channel. 
And a big shout out to my schnookums. They're my subscribers. VIP folks, don't forget we have a VIP party coming on Saturday. Second annual Hot Nerd Summer Party. It's not going to happen all the time. This is like literally the only time this subscription tier to the channel memberships will experience all these amazing things. So just FYI. Woo! That's a solid way to be thinking about you right now, King of Pentacles. Man, oh man. Lots of drama. Wow. It's better, you know what? It's better in person. It's better in person. It feels like this person is acknowledging that, you know what? I'm sorry to keep shaking the camera. I don't know what, why it keeps moving. Does it need to be tightly? But yeah, it's pretty tight. Like, it's pretty tight. Why does it move like that? Hang on. I don't know. Hang on. Hang on. I mean, is it maybe my leg on the table down there? I don't know why it keeps doing that. It's so annoying, right? Sorry. Anyway, <clears throat> back to what I was saying. And let me remove my feet from the table resting thing. Um... I think this person is just better in person because if they start, first of all, out of sight is out of mind with them. <laughs> if they don't see you, they just like, you know, they just draw their own conclusions, stay in their heads, their minds, hands tied, they ruminate and they think something is much more serious than it is, you know? But when you notice, when you see them in person, it's just a much better interaction. And that's what this would need. And this person is aware of that. They're probably even thinking about it right now. They're like, you know what? This is always better in person. Like we're always better in person. We are not good when we send messages to each other. Like this person performs their best when it's in person. Um, they want to grow and build with you. They really do. They, 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 this person does value you and they have a lot of love for you. Knight of Cups. They want to approach you in love. They want to take a softer stance. I think they've had some reflection and they're like, listen, this works when things are softer. They don't like when things, when something is missing, when things are hard and, you know, brutal and severe which they're taking responsibility for themselves they want this softness you see all this you know water energy coming out you're not a water sign at all and um, you are fire but i think this person's realizing that there is use for water in your connection um and uh, yeah and so they just want to you know turn the page this is a full card it's the first of the major arcana it's a brand new beginning it's a leap of faith it is literally turning the page on past things and focusing on collaboration there focusing on getting along better i think this person's feeling like yeah there's too much term something here isn't they're not at peace with it they need the turmoil they need the turmoil to go away they need the collaboration to enter and they think that part of the reason why there's turmoil is the lack of physical presence sometimes because they think yo when things are um physically real right as opposed to in the mind it just works out better and i agree with them both of you could have had a, a period of financial struggle that you may not even have known about each other but that's coming up here five of pentacles um i think leo you're starting to be you know remorseful about something either that or you're actually owed an apology but you, you you're not quite sure you know um how to express a certain level of baggage and heartbreak and how you feel when things go in and out for you um so oh man i put this back and it sure did come out so it could be you know a very serious issue for some of you just kind of like not feeling comfortable with the back and forth sometimes and like really wanting this softness as well i don't know it's you know sometimes two people could be thinking the exact same thing as you guys are and just need the tools to express it. So it looks like you might send the message, page of wands, it's coming on your end. You two have something to sort out. 
And that leadership in messaging might come from you, you know, Emperor showing, but I don't know, you might be reluctant. You don't want to. Both of you are still in your head right now with the Eight of Swords. Who needs to win this competition? This is not a competition. Look at you. You have a deep lack of trust. You're so guarded. Even though, see, the thing is, you want to move ahead and you're physically attracted to this person. Look at this phallic symbol coming out here, right? Unless you're two girls, in which case, look at this V. <laughs> look at this V. Literally, the letter V in the Five of Wands. Oh my God, it cracked me up. Either way, I just think that um, the card is showing that the leadership will have to come from you because you have a lot of trust issues at this point and you will need to sort of um, possibly, you know, heal that because you're carrying so much baggage. And this person is carrying baggage as well. Both of you have had tremendous tower moments in your lives and both of you can be very much like overthinkers <laughs> when something happens to shake the table i don't know my table is always shaking all right let's move on to virgo virgo where are you virgo now Virgo, let's get this party starting. I want to say hello, of course, to uh, my schnookums who are my subscribers. What up, schnooks? Um, and a big shout out to my VIP. My VIP are my channel members. You can join channel memberships on any YouTube channel simply by clicking the join button. That will present the channel membership subscription tiers to you um right now because we just launched on this channel the vip on my channel are getting like so much this would never again in history would this happen but i'm just offering it now yeah so um i want to remind my vip that we do have a vip party on saturday come dress to impress i'm gonna leave the link for all of this information in the description box in the comment section all of that okay now let's get started i think we want to find out how your person's currently feeling about you Oof, man how's your person currently feeling about you virgo man man why the nine of pentacles it's so independent it's so solo it's so single it's so separate you know, even if you two are married and tied at the hip, somebody here is definitely feeling like a solo operator. Like they have to do things independently by themselves on their own. Um, wow. Why the three of swords? Why all this heartbreak? What happened? I think there was a jealousy issue here. It was too much either for you to handle or for your person to handle. And once it came out, it came out and you guys couldn't put it back into the bottle. You see, when you say things or do things that violate somebody else's sense of trust, it's very hard to repair. Yeah. And so there are things spilling out here. Again, it could be something as simple as some, something that was said, something that was done, but it was certainly an act of jealousy. You see, you have the devil card here. It's not a demonic feature or anything of that sort. It literally means uh, because these cards were created centuries ago, um, eons ago, I should say. Um, this was just the way that they, this is what they use to describe human vices. So one of the human vices that we have is actually jealousy. We just don't do well with jealousy um, as human beings sometimes. And with these threes coming out, man, three of swords, three of pentacles, three is a crowd. You know that. And your person knows that. But yet somebody allowed a person, place or thing to interrupt and create conflict here with that five of wands energy. With that interruption came, you know, especially your person feeling like an independent operation. They are willing to start a new boop, ace of pentacles energy. They're willing to take it there, start a new. Um, and I feel like they're manifesting you back 
I do think that they still have feelings for you. They think you're beautiful. But man, do you and do they send mixed messages? Like on top of mixed messages, I don't know when you two are going to get get it together. But what is this with the mixed signaling, you know, multiple options, you know, staying stuck one minute, next minute, you know, this person is like really so into you. The connection, though, has been moving back and forth with that Knight of Wands energy. But ultimately, this is where this person wants to end. These are divine counterparts, right? Um, they want to end up with the person who gets their goat. King and Queen of Wands energy, uh, very much a coupled energy. Um, I know, you know, there's the two queens here and they can't be. So there's been an interruption here of some sort and your person is very well aware of that. It doesn't have to be a romantic person. It could just be a platonic person that interrupted um, or, th or, or something else, you know. Um, I think your person wants to take control of that. But yeah, there's already been a lack of trust, a betrayal, seven of swords coming out to sort of really, really um, putting this making this a lot more challenging than it needs to be. This is a family, King and Queen of Wands, with their little Princess of Wands showing up here. It's called the Page of Wands over here. The threes coming out in excess in this reading. You have the Three of Wands through your pentacles, through your swords. Lots of interruption. I think you guys, you know, take three steps forward and two steps back. And, um, or two steps forward and three steps back. Um, and maybe your person is, is getting very well aware of that. It's weighing on them. Um, you also are showing uh, page, of, page of wands, page of wands. And so, again, you might share a child with this person and you're saying, listen, my kids, my child is going to come first. If you don't have a child, there's a message probably pending for you. There's something that you sent that was very uh, vulnerable, like you expressed yourself in a vulnerable way. But, you know, it took a lot of courage because now you feel like things you know, did not go according to how they were supposed to. For some of you, this could have ended very abruptly and your feelings are still lingering. But again, like I showed you with this Knight of Wands, even on your person's part, too much back and forth um, and yeah, too much of a lack of trust showing up here with the Seven of Swords. Something here definitely needs to be healed um, and that's showing up in the cards. Uh, some of you are really focused on family right now. You want to really sort of slow things down um, and give a little less. You might be owed an apology, you feel. You hold your memories in high regard. There's a lot of Six of Cups energy suggesting uh, nostalgia, uh, but you're not sure what to do with your person, if I'm honest with you. Not with that, not with that Two of Pentacles, not yet. Um, there's been an argument here. I kept seeing this Knight of Swords. I know, you know, that, you know, with, with him carrying that sword, something toxic could have happened, you know, the devil to the devil. Again, I explained to you what the devil actually means in tarot. Um, and you keep telling me about how things have been back and forth. Oh, gosh, I thought it was, I thought it was a card falling. I was about to have a heart attack because I think it did that with cancer too. And I was like, oh, no, I'm not losing one of my cards. Um, both of you are really guarded. Oh, you are especially guarded. What is this? Seven of wands, two of swords, like Virgo. There's some intensity here that you feel when your emotions get the best of you. And I would urge you to calm down, right? Like nothing is the end of the world. Um, I know that something here could have been broken, but nothing broken in this world is unable to be fixed. I just think that if it is time to end something because of its toxicity, then the death card will um, possibly indicate that. Okay. All right. Let's move on to. I want to move on to Libra now. Welcome Libra to your reading. Um, it's so funny how this is literally crooked on my side, but I make it crooked just so it can not be crooked on the camera. Hello to my schnookums. Those are my subscribers. How are you guys doing? 
Did I have messages, by the way? I'll check them later. Oh, not this thing about to give me a run for my money. Okay. All right. What's up to my VIP folks? How are you guys doing? Um, special shout out to you for joining VIP. Channel memberships is VIP. You can join it on any channel simply by clicking the join button. VIP folks, don't forget we have the Hot Nerd Summer Party on Saturday. And this is probably the last time it will be open on this tier. This is the best time to join VIP. So thank you guys. I'm rewarding all the early people who've signed up for VIP with things like parties and like extra readings and, you know, things like that. Because I just think it's cool. Um, but obviously I cherish all of my schnookums. Let's get started now. If you didn't see the video that we did, it's called Tarot Shocker on this channel, if you're just joining. That Tarot Shocker video talked about how the King of Cups has been following um, Libra uh, for the whole month of June. Now we're in July. Um, this is the King of, this is, you know, um, your, your person again is probably going to profess their love for you. Maybe that's how they're currently feeling. Maybe it's not. Um, but you know, it's, it's been really interesting because it's, it's very hard to, to pull the same card that many times. It's, it's, it's really impossible. So we want to see what happens now. Um, watch that video on this channel. I'll probably leave it here as well. Um, we want to see how your person is currently feeling. Um, what, what say you? Hmm. They're hoping this is not the end. They're kind of like hanging on to something. Sorry to be shaking the table all the time. They're kind of hanging on to something. They feel like something is their fault as well because they were not honest about something. It's either, look at this, Seven of Wands, Deception Indicated. It's either they were not honest about how they felt or not honest about a commitment they were already in. Because this is a marriage card. Now, it could be that the marriage card is appearing because of commitment to you or that desire to commit to you. But this person does not want this connection with you to be a missed opportunity with somebody walking away. They feel like there was a spark here, or there presently is, um, that was quite strong. And they don't really want to release just yet. So... You know, they want, they still want to overcome this block. I don't know what this block is with the two of swords, but they feel like there's some clarity and communication that needs to be done. Even if not just like, even if not just for the sake of love, but at least for the sake of happiness, right? Like they don't like to leave things, um, unaddressed. They don't like to leave things, um, unresolved. So it seems like they're doing their best to sort of um give you an outreach oh this person is heartbroken poor thing that's how they're feeling we asked right they feel nervous to approach you they don't know how you're going to react um I, this is a brand new beginning with the full card this is what they feel they feel like something here should be new again um What I get when I think of this energy that has come out, I get like somebody who is still sore, like something, you know what I mean? Like something still sore, something that it was not resolved, like two people who didn't, um, you know, finish something out properly. Do, do you know what I mean? Like I get a wounding, a baggage, like you two must have scarred each other somehow. Let me check and make sure nothing fell on the floor. I would hate that. I had to count my cards when I was reading Cancer because if I read without so many cards, I think that would drive me insane. Like, this is not janky tarot. <laughs> we do not read with less than 78 cards um, or fewer than 78 cards, I should say. Um, but let's see. I mean, I do see you at the bottom. Yeah, it's the same old story. I can see this person's feelings. This is you, the Empress. Uh, this is the Knight of Cups. And it, of course, something is always preventing them from being able to fully express. And that's what's really hurting. I see this person trying to come back around, but not feeling confident because they know that they have either betrayed your trust or that something is broken, sort of almost irreparably. 
Um, for those of you who are still with this person, I think this person fears breaking something irreparably and they're doing their best um, to make sure that any sort of vices or slights that happen in this connection are immediately remedied because I see them holding on for dear life with that four of pentacles again with this coming out this is your counterpart right like as i've explained um they're worried though that there may be somebody else in your life um yeah i, I can feel that worry yeah yeah mm -hmm. uh-huh yeah yeah kappa yeah kappa we see you kappa schnooks it's okay it's okay, King Kappa. We see, we're not phased. We, we're at this point, we're used to you, right? So we're not gonna overreact. We're not gonna, we know you, when, once I saw this, I said, okay, where's King Kappa? Because apparently King Kappa is not going to let you Find your match because King Kappa is insisting that their love is what you need. Okay, cool, fine. We'll, le we'll leave you there. Have it your way. Yeah, like Mickey D's. Have it your way. Is that the right company? What's the company that has a slang? Have it your way. Oh, that would be Mickey D's, isn't it? Jesus Christ. This is what happens when you travel too far outside of your home. Okay. <laughs> You'll be like, what was that McDonald's? <laughs> Bitch, you better remember where you're from. Talking about was that McDonald's. I have to Google that. Lord have mercy. I'm not, it's not, it's not coming to me. Um, yeah, yeah. Have it your dun, 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 dun. No, that's I'm loving it. What? What is having is that subway your way then? Oh my God, girl, you are officially European because you don't even remember the fuck. You don't remember the slogans of your, that's a damn shame. Anyway, all right, so here. So we now have, I told you already, guys, the story is repeating itself. You guys have been silent. Somebody's coming back. This person fears that you could be someone else. You are represented by the queen of swords. This is the king of swords. It's a divine counter partnership. It is your match. This person who has appeared in all of your readings is afraid that you might end up with somebody whom they're thinking is your match, even if you don't. And they're holding on for dear life, four of pentacles, but they know, obviously, three of swords, seven of swords, betrayal, heartbreak, leaving you alone, yada, yada, yada. Do you even need to watch these readings anymore? They're also, I told, I talked about this fear and it's manifesting, of course, in the death card. Um, this person is feeling slightly left out of something. They, they just want your attention. They're wishing for it. That's how they're feeling. You know, and I, I guess until, you know, this is resolved in terms of this attention that they keep seeking, Right, because for some reason they're holding on to a memory of you that keeps that makes them happy and that cannot be matched with somebody else. But I don't know what they want me to do. They keep talking about blocking. So there's a block here in you two being uh, in contact with each other with the two of swords. They say that you've made them very happy. They think about you all the time. You're the empress. It doesn't matter if you're a male or female. They want to approach you in love and they want to come right back around. Six of wands energy is winning energy. What do they want me to do? I have no idea, but obviously something has not completed all the way. You've gone through multiple cycles with this person. They have a closure issue with you with the world card. This would sometimes or most times indicate the completion of a cycle but they're pointing to it saying can we just make the decision that something here has not been properly closed and that they want to come through and close that cycle look at all of this competition though that this person is feeling with all those extra kings um couple schnooks wants to get through to you we're just gonna keep doing the readings until he or she goes away. Libra is getting sick and I don't blame you, baby. I don't blame you with that 10 of wands. You're like, listen, I'm sick of this crap. Okay. You're like, listen, I don't want any toxic crap. Libra is like, why are you so obsessed with me? Okay. A la Mariah Carey. When Mariah Carey said, why are you so obsessed with me, honey? Leave me the heck alone. Either do something or go away, sweetie. 
like <coughs> like you went away the first time oh oh not libra saying come on not libra saying leave it be okay rather than agitate that's what this stands for leave it leave it be rather than agitate oh okay that's what libra stands for libra saying what is the game plan here because you are agitating me what do you want but libra you loki know that there was some interruption here between you and your person something came between the two of you and there's still a truth that needs to be um sort of told here unfolded you, some of you have been very silent you've been using silence as a weapon don't lie i think you've been using it to your advantage and you agree that something here needs to be decided between the two of you you agree that love was there you know a feeling of warmth was there but somehow you're saying listen mf you made me sad and and i'm still healing well your person is healing both of you are still healing you're taking over my cards i can feel your emotions i can um but i can see you're putting yourself first i mean this person pulled out the empress as well because they're thinking about you but guess who else is thinking about you you <laughs> You're like, uh, the next connection I'm in will be so committal that I'm going to actually stop watching this channel because I'm going to be busy with my boo is what you're saying. And I don't blame you because after the silence and after the mistreatment, you've developed this, uh, you've developed this anxiety over here and this depression and this like your behavior, your personality almost has changed because you become more introverted because of how you give love. And you want to share it with people but i think sometimes you feel like they take advantage of it and they become way too difficult to deal with um which doesn't align with your mission or intention so i think you're doing a lot of growing up but as far as the two of you just like having this bond that your person is saying is not finished i think libra is kind of saying to this person well come on then clay claytus come on claytus come on clavis come on claytus what was that professor the nutty professor yeah mm -hmm. <laughs> that was a cute movie all right let's move on to scorpio come on claytus <laughs> come on all right scorpio there you are darling um let's see let me check my battery it's not much let me charge it all right, Scorpio, want to say hello to my schnookums. My schnookums are my subscribers. And I want to give a special shout to my VIP members. Those are my channel members. Thank you guys so much. Uh, don't forget, we have the Hot Nerd Summer Party, VIP only. That's on Saturday, so don't forget that. Um, yeah. You can join VIP. You can become a channel member on any YouTube channel by clicking the join button. This just so happens to be the best time to join mine because I'm throwing so many extras <laughs> at the lowest possible level, which is unheard of. It won't happen again beyond uh, a very short time period. So this has been a good time for you guys to join. Can't wait to see you on Saturday. Now let's see, how is your person currently feeling about you? You know, what are their feelings? Let's, let's tap into that and see what we can get through to oh that's a very mild energy somebody here could already have a child and you know they're just tending to their kids but um somebody here is feeling very much um sorry about something uh, pleasant about it they want to win with you six of wands that's how they're currently feeling whether they will always feel this way i don't know but currently this person is not trying to lose um, nor are they trying to lose you. I think they're taking a softer approach here. Um, wow, they're trying to look good for you. So if you've seen them post selfies or do anything, yeah, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Uh, you know, if, they, if you've seen them try to look hot for some reason, it's their way of communicating this 
very fiery energy towards you five of wands showing up here though conflict as well as another queen so it could be that one or more of you had a choice to make between two people and that, that may have gotten a little bit toxic especially with the threes showing up there three of pentacles it could have been this uh you know threes a crowd kind of energy that uh, we want to sort of be cognizant of especially because the three of wands is also showing up so something here could have happened where you know maybe things were not always on the up and up uh historically with the six of cups there are too many queens coming out yet again the queen of cups so lots of queens we saw the queen of cups queen of swords now we're seeing the queen of wands i think your person ideally would choose you um ideally where their physical attraction really and truly lies is with you for some reason there's something about you physically um that perhaps the typical person doesn't have that makes them a lot more turned on so maybe you have a little bit of flesh you know a little bit more flesh a little bit of junk in your trunk and if not that you have maybe very very long legs something about you is making them still just like unable to release although this person shows like a guardedness here with this two of swords that they're admitting yeah they they're admitting that they have their toxic traits they are definitely admit, admitting that so like i tell people all the time the devil is not an indication of you know an actual devil uh only ignorant people read it that way the devil is something that was used, yeah, this, this is not like Satan, this is not demonic, it, something that was used to describe human vices. Because these cards and this system, you know, were created such a long time ago, eons ago. So the way that they thought to express human vices, such as jealousy, obsession, addiction, things that are human to us, was through this card. And I think that this person is saying, hey, I know my character flaws. I know, in fact, some of those flaws could come from work, working with attractive people, or just working too much, like spending too much time working, not enough time doing that romance thing. And this person is admitting that they know they have to choose choice energy coming out here in abundance, two of pentacles, two of swords, um, split energies. Um, but they know that they want to build with you. Yeah, this is something they don't want to walk away from. I think this is something they want to give a little bit into. I have to say this King of Pentacles has come out way too many times to be ignored at this point. I definitely think that you are an investment decision for this person. Are you somebody that they can invest in? Um, or will it be too difficult given, you know, the history here, Six of Cups showing up and again, this this queen who wants to make herself known along with the other queens that have shown up um, there is some competitive energy there's some previous walking away with the six of swords some distance has been caused here you know and there have been people um people places or things that have certainly interrupted the the the, the flow of the connection and your person is realizing that i think you're feeling slightly annoyed because you gave a lot more in this case than you normally would to people and you're saying well i have you know i have work too i have accomplishments as well and i'm you know i find a way to you know make my interests known you've got the page of wands energy <sighs> that's a troubling text message that i'm looking at i think that yeah you know maybe it wasn't troubling but maybe it made you feel like perhaps you shared too much or showed too much vulnerability so your ego is showing up here with the king of wands but funnily enough your person did not read that text in the uh, problematic way that you did it's just your ego saying oh maybe i shouldn't have been that vulnerable but your person actually appreciated that king of wands to king of wands energy your person understands where you're coming from uh, both of you have the king of wands in the exact same position but you also have this awareness i think you have this awareness that um you know there have been you know that queen who is that queen right <laughs> 
So you have this awareness that there have been options here, right? Seven of Cups energy showing up. Um, you have this awareness that there's been baggage between the two of you. You have this awareness that there's been betrayal or a lack of trust. But you also have the awareness, like your person does, that there has there have been this um, energies of the Six of Cups, which tie you two to a nostalgia, to a history. And you still want to build with this person, believe it or not. I think you're still interested. Um, or at least with one option out there. You're like, listen, if it's not this person, can you give me another option? Can I start new with this full card? Scorpio wants to know. Um, because you're feeling lonely these days. Well, if you're feeling lonely, why are you guarded? It's almost like you're feeling lo lonely and you're guarded, but you're also distant. You want somebody to walk up behind you and breathe on your neck, like Erica Badu said. Um, but you're also still, I think, physically tethered to somebody that you already know, somebody that you have history with. Like if that person showed up and said, do you know what? Let's just spend the day in this bedroom. I think you would be like, sure, why the heck not? Um, even though there's been all this damage, all this scarring, all this lack of trust, betrayal, all of those things. Um, it's just because you two have this, yeah, something definitely slowed down here, but you two have this, you know, incredible, incredible, like physical connection, um, in terms of that Ace of Wands energy. Okay. Now let's do... Sagittarius <laughs> let's do Sagittarius if we can make it because my phone is just trying to conk out here how you doing Sag how you doing yeah what's up with you let me check the timing okay the battery is trying to be ridiculous so I will unplug it just for you sorry about that yeah my battery always acts up when we get to Sag it's so annoying All right. Hello. Hello to my existing schnickums. How are you doing? Sorry, I was reading a text message there. So you two might be reading a text message soon. Um, can I predict a text message for you? I don't know yet. What I will say is that we're here to determine how your person is currently feeling about you. How's your person currently feeling about you? want to say hello to my schnookums. My schnookums are my subscribers, as you know. Um, and of course, a special shout out to my VIP subscribers, my channel members. Guys, remember, if you're in VIP, we have a party on Saturday. So that's the Hot Nerd Summer Party, our second annual Hot Nerd Summer Party. It's the one and only, you know, even if other people try to copy your child. Janky. Just janky. I hate janky people. Why would you? Anyway, shh, 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 shh. Focus. Focus. All right. <laughs> Anybody that knows me knows, though, that I hate when people copy me. Like, it is literally the bane of my existence. It is. And the funny thing is, they, they dance around how they can do it. Like, if they copy something outright, like, you know, the way I arrange my cards, for example, that's, you know, definitive and clearly infringement but if they copy something like if I like I'm having a party they're like okay I had the hot nerd summer party and now they want to have you know the cuckoo birds summer party you know what I'm saying you never had no freaking party on your channel until I existed and I hate that that's why I hate sharing my creativity because why are you taking from me I hate that it is oh it makes me so sick it's a trigger anyway before my phone dies, <laughs> let me do your reading and figure out how your person is feeling about you, darling, currently. Ooh, well, I may be in hate, but somebody is in love. Knight of Cups. Wow. You've got somebody who feels very warmly about you. They really do want to approach you in love. They're probably just not sure how to. They think you're so hot. Ooh, what have I walked into here? Hang on. This person thinks you're absolutely stunning. They think you're hot, um, you know, but they're conflicted about something. Something has come up in this situation that is causing them an internal conflict with that five of swords energy. 
Um, you two have gone through multiple cycles together to the point where, you know, at this point, it's kind of like maybe this should close because the cycles are just too repetitive. Um, there's a block that this person cannot overcome when it comes to that two of swords, even though they have enormous feelings for you. There's something also intercepting this connection with this three of pentacles. I feel like they want to collaborate with you, which is what the three of pentacles ideally is. It's very collaborative, but something is still interrupting it. Three is a crowd and there's a decision hanging in the balance that this person just can't seem to make. So they're saying while you make them the height of happy, yeah, with the sun card, the six of swords is pointing to distance, emotional distance, physical distance, or, or a difference in opinion. Um, and so they're sorry about that. Um, are you an ideal? Yes. But do they have to work on themselves? Absolutely. Ten of pentacles. If you see it in this deck, you'll see a lot of these Romanesque pillars and philosophers, because to me, uh, the, the ten of pentacles also connotes something to do with self-development and improving oneself in order to maximize as the ten of pentacles often does so they've got a lot on their plate they find you so attractive they want to be with you okay the king has come out to meet the queen king and queen of wands um but something here keeps going in and out back and forth and something is a disruption in fact family is showing up here look at that family king and queen of wands with their little princess of wands there um although like i said this person fears that there could be com uh, competition yeah the king of pentacles coming out this person fears it could be competition well why don't they just step up to the plate they want to come back around but there are people involved so many people involved who are these people if they're not multiple people, then this is the this represents the multiple phases that you've been through with this person. The way I'm pulling these cards out is just absolutely ridiculous. This is a couplehood or a liking or a loving that has been through way too much. And um, the, the interesting thing is that there have been people in this person's ears. The wands are... Look at all these wands. You can't get any any hotter for this person like you can't like this person cannot possibly feel as drawn or enchanted by someone as as they are to you however yeah they're feeling left out right now um and they're feeling your fire they're feeling your fire um they want you they want to speak continue being connected to you eight of wands back and forth energy and communication they're attracted to you um, family showing up here the king and queen along with their little princess uh, that's for some of you um, but this is also a messaging um the 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 issue right because this is so beautiful especially with the lover's card coming out the issue is this multiple cycle thing that you tend to go through in your love life and it leads to not just your heartbreak, but the heartbreak of others. Look at the five of wands coming out and look at how stubborn uh, the people you deal with can be. This king of pentacles also quite stern and stubborn. Uh, yet you are the only person that can bring out a softer side of this person. King and queen, queen of cups, definitely divine counterparts. I'm just a little wary though. Um, with this three of wands energy, it's very, very interruptive. Um, there could be obstacles here, like another person, place, or thing. And this is the, ooh, this is such, look, look, look what a mess the spread is, right? Because that's the kind of entangled energy that has been happening here. It's where, you know, you couldn't find a hotter match to people who are very physically and, um, passionately aligned with each other, but because because of the presence of other people, places, things, or just other interruptions, perhaps departures in philosophies or ways of thinking, you know, they, they have run at you to have run into conflict. Yeah, look at your own internal conflict. Both of you are showing internal conflict here with that Five of Swords energy. Both of you are doing that. Um, and you are feeling alone, independent, solo, showing up. Nine of Pentacles energy. Like even if you're married to this person, you're feeling solo, single. Look at nines. I told you very independent numbers in tarot, just all coming out. And you're thinking of cutting this person off. You're thinking of telling them off. 
Um, but, um, you know, at this point, you two have gone back and forth for so long that any more communication will just probably be repetitive at this point. Eight of Wands to the Eight of Wands. I think you're ready to move on. I don't blame you. I feel like you see this person working on themselves and you want to be powerful too. You want to be, you want to be strong too. You have the strength. They have the strength. You don't want to be left behind simply because you're in love. And I applaud you for that, right? So as much as it hurts, as much as it hurts and as much as you're saying, hey, I could grow and I can build with this person. I want to keep holding on. Queen coming up to meet the king of pentacles here. You're saying as much as it hurts, I, st I just feel, right, that I need to jump into the spiritual uber. That's a chariot. My uh, favorite phrase, uh, the spiritual uber. That's my trademark. Speaking of copying, I'm not going to go there. I know you guys. Mm -mm, no, shh, 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 shh. Stop complaining. Stop complaining about people copying you. They're ratchet. Focus. Do you mind your business? Okay. Okay. Sorry. I had to give myself a talk there. Um, you might want to move on and heal, right? Which could mean for some of you, the death of this, the end of it, or the transformation of yourself. So leaving one aspect of your identity behind so that you can morph into somebody new. Look at this newness, Ace of Pentacles, beautiful energy. And I applaud you for that. I think you are being very strong and recognizing certain things because you want commitment that is stable. This is very stable energy, Four of Wands, uh, the marriage card. And so history is what's keeping you here. Um, a recognition, um, a familiarity, but sometimes that could be very toxic. Look at this devil card coming out, Seven of Swords, that lack of uh, trust or betrayal. And, you know, with the Hierophant coming out, I think, again, this is a marriage card and this is a marriage card. Uh, I, th I just think that you are ready for something um, that will probably get you off my channel <laughs> right that's not so hard to convince like why do you have to do all this look at this convincing uh, talking and all of that you shouldn't have to be given the runaround and mixed messages and twenty thousand messages just to get love in your life love should not be chaotic all the time geez louise it's not you know love is just a thing you know like um, you know a mother loves a child it's just there's no effort it just is what it is. I mean, obviously, love, romantic love has to be maintained, but it shouldn't require like as much as it requires. It shouldn't be so hard sometimes on you. And so I think you're coming to that realization as much as this person cares about you. And I can see it. Um, I'm just, you know, interpreting what the cards are telling me. I do think conversation is forthcoming between the two of you with the um, with the Eight of Wands. I, I do think that you have tried to show a lot of leadership. Um, this is the queen of um, communication. She she leads that speech, communication, logic, things of the mind and the mouth. As the swords rule, the swords rule things of the mind and the mouth. Pause. Um, pause. <laughs> Not the mind and the mouth, honey. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the fact that um, you've tried to take that lead, but you feel like you've been left alone. Yeah. Nine of Pentacles energy. You can't do everything by yourself. You're looking for stability and you're looking to heal in that healing process. Yeah. You're tired of this back and forth with the uh, Knight of Wands energy. You've done enough of that. You're probably getting too old for it as long as this as well, as far as this King of Wands is saying, yeah, you want somebody who's a bit less back and forth. You're moving into the space of a lot more leadership emotionally in your own life, no matter how much it hurts uh, and no matter how much, you know, physically and passionately you belong or feel like you belong to this person. I think this person has a lot to do in terms of stepping up because there's a risk here of you ending something to begin basically a new chapter in your life what takes you there my spiritual uber this chariot it takes you from one stage to another uh, so as much as you spy on this person as much as you care about this person you might do the needful if you continue to be internally conflicted five of swords energy showing up here um you know and, and i feel for the both of you because i do see a lot of attraction but i see that there's just there needs to be an eye to eye yeah, because something is causing this conflict, five of wands energy, and uh, something is causing this hardship. Both of you are very strong personalities. Yeah, so one person has to bend and doesn't. Um, and that could cause, you know, quite a lot with the threes, of course, showing up as well. 
I told you I was a bit wary of that, uh, wary of somebody needing to make a choice and then just not choosing. Um, but if you want to know how they're feeling, oh yeah, oh yeah, I mean, they feel for you, honey. That's not even the question. <laughs> That's not the point, you know, according to your reading. The point is not how they feel. They feel for you. They want you physically, emotionally. You drive them nuts. You drive this person crazy. But are they willing to do the work um, that your love demands? And that is the question. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching.